All rappers spend their money in different ways. While some invest for the future, others like to live in the moment, such as Gunna, who bought more cars than he'll ever need. He has spent over 2 million on them alone, but with his legendary Rolls Royce Cullinan, it's a completely different story because Young Thug actually gifted this to Gunna in 2020. <laughs> That's crazy. By the road truck. The Cullinan holds a V12 engine generating 600 horsepower. It is fully customized with a black paint job, and with Rolls Royce being the peak of luxury vehicles, Young Thug knew that he had to hook up his boy with one in 2020. Plus, it came with the Rolls Royce iconic feature of a starlit roof in the interior, plus doors that open backwards. Although Gunna got his first, he and Young Thug ended up splitting on a second Rolls Royce. Then, in 2021, they ended up demolishing this expensive ride for Young Thug's album release titled Punk. Then heading deeper into the garage of Gunna, he would also buy himself none other than the Lamborghini Urus. This costed the rapper 280 grand. He customized the car with an orange exterior as well as white leather seats. The main reason for this purchase is the high performance of the SUV. This features a four liter twin turbo V8 engine. It also reaches a speed of 190 miles an hour while accelerating 60 in under three seconds. Not to mention the Urus also has the top of the line technology and the depth making it the best SUV money can buy. But Gunna would also buy himself a very fast ride as well, being none other than the Porsche Turbo S for 210,000. Being one of the last supercars in his collection, his Porsche hit speeds up to 207 miles an hour with an unreal acceleration to 60 in just two and a half seconds. However, Chicago rapper Lil Durk's collection is something else. Starting with his classic Chevy K5 Blazer, the last being produced all the way back in 1994, the SUV costed the rapper 50 grand. But then he ended up adding multiple mods to the vehicle, turning it into a literal monster truck with massive wheels and completely blacking the ride out. <laughs> Lil Durk ended up using this monster truck to go and drive and buy a brand new Ferrari, as Durk would end up grabbing the brand new Ferrari F8 Tributo because he was bored. As Dirk would go on to explain during his Instagram Live, he was missing a Ferrari in his collection, so he decided to go out and buy one. Lil Dirk paid for the Ferrari all in cash at the price point of $325,000 just a couple days after he advertised on Instagram saying that he needed one. A company known as The Roadshow would then reach out to Lil Dirk as they quickly responded to his request with a white colored F8. The Ferrari is one of the fastest in the world and it tops out at 211 miles an hour. Hour. Now, Lil Durk loves his supercars. However, aside from buying cars, Lil Durk has also bought a lot of pieces of jewelry. From his famous OTF chain and pendant, it references his record label titled Only the Family. The customized pendant is made out of gold and it is covered with round cut diamonds, with the final cost of the chain being $25,000. What movie said that? He said, roll like a cheese, bro. Ain't nothing cheesy on this is real water. You just, y'all jewels. Dirk would also go on to buy a Dirkio Crazy pendant as well. But the most important pieces of jewelry to Lil Dirk is his diamond covered chain pendants to remember his late cousin Nooski as well as King Vaughn. Y'all know that P Roy Nooski D thing. Y'all know where they at, man. Music, man. You know Jerry, you know this. 
he got the pendant for another $50,000, then finishing with white diamonds attached to it on top of the gold frame. Now, when it comes to his chains, he also owns a very impressive 705 gram Cuban link, coming to a final price of $85,000. Dirk has also had a major love and obsession over diamond rings. His most interesting one is his 300 ring, which came in at a total of $23,000 and is fully customized. The number 300 on it represents his hometown of Chicago. Dirk also can't seem to get enough for the Cuban link design, which is why he would bring it on to a diamond ring, costing him $6,500 for the ring. The Cuban link. Water. Shout out Izzy. As another ring that he wears would be one that is made out of three rings all stacked on top of each other, just so then that piece would be more noticeable when taking photos. Just for this, it costed him another $14,000, which if you can also use an extra $14,000, leave a like on the video. But deeper into Lil Dirk's jewelry box is where you would find his three Cuban link bracelets. This totals up to $25,000 each. Lil Dirk even follows it up with his golden diamond covered watch, totaling another $100,000. But what doesn't even come close would be his most expensive piece of them all. This would be none other than his Richard Mill RM30. This costed him over $300,000. But the plain Jane version of the watch wasn't enough for Lil Durk. He would end up getting it customized and fully iced out, getting diamonds all around the clock with aftermarket white diamonds. This is then when Dirk would show off his most expensive pieces. Hold on. I lost my little thing right there. That four of them. That four of them right there. <laughs> what, the, what else you got? A paddock. A paddock. When asked about his plans regarding his collection, Lil Durk stated, and I quote, I want to get another Cuban because I want them stacked up on top of each other. Now, Lil Durk's car collection would go on to inspire rapper Lil Baby to buy things similar. Lil Baby first purchased a Chevrolet Corvette ZR1, costing him upwards $150,000. It comes in as a convertible and also has a white paint finish. It's one of his favorite rides according to his Instagram lives, as the interior is fit with leather padded seating, but underneath the hood, the car is powered by a V8 supercharged engine that boosts up to 212 miles an hour while accelerating the supercar to 60 in only three seconds. I have to go. Then moving into his jewelry collection, Lil Baby has also bought himself a Lil Baby pendant. It spells out the word baby in all diamonds, and it is connected to a very expensive Cuban link necklace. This costed the rapper $140,000 in total for the chain pieces, as his next chain would be his Zone 4 pendant. This represents Zone 4 of Atlanta, where Lil Baby grew up. So he knew he had to get a piece representing from where he came from, like a lot of other rappers do. But his next chain is his iconic four PF chain. Getting the logo to represent his team and label, Lil Baby splurged on the pendant and he joined it with a massive Cuban link necklace to go with it. With the total costing him $120,000 for the pieces, Lil Baby would also go on to purchase a QC chain. This is the biggest of his collection. The QC chain in general weighs a ton. The pendant itself is covered in white gold and diamonds and it connects to one of the thickest Cuban link chains Icebox has ever made. As his iconic QC C chain ran him 150 grand. Similar to Lil Durk, Lil Baby has a huge obsession to diamond rings as well. He has a few star shaped rings for whenever he goes out into public to ice himself out even more. He's go on to mention in interviews he has lost about eight of these diamond rings while traveling concert to concert. So if you're a lucky fan going to a Lil Baby concert, you might leave with a diamond ring. He also has a couple of other circular diamond rings just to wear whenever he's holding the mic while performing. Each ring 
cost the rapper around twenty to thirty-five thousand dollars. But getting into the watches Lil Baby has purchased, it starts out with his six hundred thousand dollar Richard Mill watch. He ended up purchasing two of these a couple of years ago. Not to mention, he has also purchased multiple other AP watches that he has had commissioned jewelers completely encrust them with diamonds. That way, Lil Baby is always shining while he's out in public. However, the craziest items bought by rappers in the industry all come from Drake. With the help of his ongoing beef with Kendrick Lamar, Drake was able to go out and purchase a brand new Bugatti Veyron. This Bugatti costed Drake $2.2 million. It's one of only 12 ever produced in the entire world. It's not only extremely rare, but it is also the first vehicle to ever reach over 250 miles an hour and accelerates to 60 in only two seconds. Although Drake continued purchasing, he has also customized himself a Rolls-Royce Cullinan. It features a unique design throughout the car interior while being completely blacked out leather seats and exterior. The Rolls-Royce also features its iconic coach doors that open backwards. And if you know Drake, you know he had to add on the starlit headliner for the roof of the car during late night drives. However, the car that looks the craziest in Drake's collection is the Devel 16. At a cost of another two and a half million dollars, this vehicle tops out at speeds of a 350 miles an hour and accelerates to 60 in 1.8 seconds. This car completely looks like it's from the future. It has two jet exhausts coming out of the back and it is something you do not see every day. However, with Drake spending so much money on himself, he also makes sure to give back to his fans that show up to his concerts. He has handed out designer bags to lucky guests over the years. However, one fan created a sign saying that he spent all of his furniture money on a concert ticket and Drake ended up feeling bad for him, so he gave him and his family 50 grand. OBO for life, right? My manager, my manager is my DJ, right? Is he over there? He's right here? You know what, my man, your furniture money, I'm gonna give you 50 bands tonight because I love you. Make sure you get some fun with me. 